So, now you have been presented with the equation of line you, uh, with an equation of line and a point and the question is you find the equation of a line perpendicular to the line x minus 2 y plus 3 is equal to 0 and passing through the point minus 1 comma 2. So, in this case let us identify the equation what are the uh, general form of the equation that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and uh, the uh, you can easily see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, c is equal to 3. Therefore, the slope of the given line, the line that is given to you will be uh, minus a by b which is minus of 1 upon minus of 2 that will be half. So, the slope of the given line m 1 is equal to half. Now, if at all a line is perpendicular to it, then you already know that the product of the slopes is minus 1. So, uh, the slo the, if the product of the slopes is minus 1, then m 2 m 1 into m 2 is equal to minus 1 that is m 2 is equal to minus 1 upon m 1. So, minus 1 upon m 1, m 1 is half which will give me m 2 to be equal to minus 2. So, now the problem reduces to the slope of a given line is minus 2 and it passes through point minus 1 comma 2 and I want to find the equation of a line that is passing through point minus 1 comma 2 and has slope to minus 2. So, use the slope point form y minus y naught is equal to m times x minus x naught y naught is 2. So, uh, so, you can easily see y minus 2 is equal to minus 2 times x plus 1, x minus minus 1, so x plus 1. Rearrange the terms, so this 2 will get cancelled constant, therefore I will get the equation of a line to be y is equal to minus 2x or in a general form you can write this as minus 2x plus y is equal to 0. Okay. So, let us let us try to figure out whether it is the, the line which we have actually figured found is perpendicular or not. So, the orange line is the line for which the equation is given x minus 2 y plus 3 is equal to 0. The point minus 1 comma 2 is displayed in the graph and the line passing through it is also displayed and you can clearly see the angle that is made is 90 degrees. Therefore, the lines are perpendicular and our answer is correct. So, our verification test has passed.